Hi, my name is Luis Perez Maqueda and I belong to CESIC. CESIC is the Spanish National Research Council. This is the largest research institution in Spain and the third one in Europe. Our main objective is to promote research and bring about scientific and technological progress. We are a multidisciplinary institution. We cover all the different fields of science and humanities. We are organized in different research centers, 139 in total. I belong to the Material Science Institute of Seville. We are participating in the SOCASES H 2020 EC project. We are very excited about it and we would like you to learn more about our activities within this project. Hi there, my name is Pedro Sanchez Jimenez and I'm a researcher belonging to CECIC. Here you can see a micrograph taken with a scanning electron microscope. This technique has been very useful to characterize the different materials we have tested and studied in the SOCRASES project. With the SEM, we can learn about the microstructure and morphology of the particle that we later on tested in the reactor and how these properties change with the reactor condition. This information is very important to optimize the process in our search for the highest efficiency. Hi, I am Antonio Perejo. In this project, we use thermogrammetric instruments to study the calcination and carbonation cycles under different experimental conditions. For example, in plots like this, we can analyze the mass gain and mass loss of the samples during the cycles and correlate them with the reactivity. Moreover, we also analyze the samples before and after the cycles by X-ray diffraction. For example, in this diffraction pattern, we can study the amount of calcium oxide that is cut active or inactive for carbonation after 20 cycles. These techniques are very interesting for us because we can predict the behavior of the samples and the relevant conditions for the Socrates project. Hi, my name is Abel and I'm doing my PhD at the Institute of Material Science in Seville. We are in the Socrates project. The characterization of limestone and lime is very important to know the properties of the material. Physisorption and chemisorption are techniques that help us with microstructure characterization. This unit, which consists in a gas analyzer that studies the absorption and desorption of nitrogen, allows us to obtain the specific surface area, pore size distribution, and active surface area of the materials. Uh, these are a really uh, relevant information for our research. Hello, my name is Virginia Moreno, and I am currently a postdoctoral student working at the SIC in Material Science Institute of Sevilla for Socrates Project. I work in this Pérez Maqueda's group where nowadays one of more researchers topics is energy storage in concentrated solar power plants in calcium grouping process based on the cyclic calcination and carbonation of calcium carbonate. One of the main problems of this technology is the efficiency in CO2 capture which is determined by various process conditions leading to an irreversible loss of calcium oxide in activity so that its conversion decays with the number of cycles. Taking into account all of these, one of the most important objectives in this field is the research for operating conditions that reduce solvent inactivation as much as possible, allowing for increased multi-cycle activity. Thus, the main objective of my work is the development of new calcium oxide-based materials with different morphologies and improved properties capable of minimizing the inactivation of the solvent and allowing to increase the multicycle activity. Hi, my, my name is Juan Arcenegui. I work as a postdoctoral researcher in the CC. Uh, part of my work is being performed within the framework of the European Project Socrates. Uh, my research focuses on the search for new materials and methods to optimize the carbonation process, uh, increasing the effective conversion and preventing the, the activation of the solvent. Uh, most of my experimental research is carried out in this thermal balance, which allows us to simulate the conditions we will have in the pilot plant.
Uh, it is very exciting to be part of this project as I consider it a big step toward the global deployment of the calcium looping based technology for thermochemical energy storage. Thanks.